Although I believe I have a pretty good idea of where I stand on the social media addiction scale, I decided to take an online quiz, and the results were not exactly surprising. Although these tests are not meant to be used as a diagnosis tool, it still forces you to face your bad habits and to be honest about things you might not really want to realize about yourself. Had I taken this test a year ago, the results would have probably shown likely addicted. Although I didn't realize it at the time, looking back, it's become very clear to me. And more importantly, it's become clear to me why I was addicted. Like most addictions, social media is often an escape of boredom, anxiety, frustration, and it gives a sense of safety and connectivity. And I don't think that's being talked about enough. I have since then changed my mindset and changed my habits and although not perfect, I am at a much healthier place. And today, I would like to share that journey with you all. I would like to start with three very quick practical steps that I've taken to become less attached to my phone. And then I would like to get more in depth with two additional points. Now, as for the three quick practical steps, the first thing I did was to turn my notifications off. I currently don't have any notifications on my phone except for YouTube and that's because I want to stay connected with you all at all times. Since I turned my notifications off, I've definitely noticed a huge difference in the amount of times that I pick up my phone to check it. The second point is to set a screen time limit on your phone. So I currently only have one hour a day on social networks and Full disclosure, I do still sometimes ignore the limit to keep checking on something that I'm already checking, but for the most part, it does really work and it really gives you a sense of how much you're actually using your phone. The third point is that I have put my phone on silent way more often than I did before. When I'm eating, exercising, sometimes when I'm just taking a walk or I'm out with my friends, because I don't want my phone to distract me and that's also made a huge difference. Now I would like to get more in depth with two additional things that I did. The first one is that I started to really acknowledge and take note of the moments when I picked up my phone. What was I doing? Was I with friends? Was I waiting for the bus? And secondly, and more importantly, what was I feeling at that exact moment? Was it boredom? Was it anxiety? Was it just an undescribable urge? Although that undescribable urge was always present in some form, it was also always accompanied with an additional feeling. What I realized was that a lot of the times it was either out of boredom or out of fear. Now as for boredom, it was simply me not being able to be present enough because my brain was so used to that extra stimulation from my phone that when I was not using it, I just wasn't feeling stimulated enough. Essentially the opposite of mindfulness. Now as for fear, simply the fear of being seen as being alone, let's say when I was waiting for the bus, which is often a reason a lot of us pick up our phones, even if we're not really doing anything important, we just feel accompanied by having it in our hand. Now for the second point, I would like to discuss following. About a year ago, I followed over 900 accounts on Instagram, which is completely ridiculous because nor does 900 accounts inspire me or bring value into my life, but I also don't know 900 people. But I still found myself struggling with unfollowing a lot of these accounts. And I think it was because of the following two reasons. The first one is that I found some sort of obligation to follow certain accounts. Either it was just them following me, so I felt like I needed to follow them back, or it was someone that I didn't want to unfollow because I kind of had this fear that they would take it too personally. The second point is that I tricked my mind into thinking that many of these accounts actually motivated me when in reality they did not. Fitness accounts, for example. I never found myself looking at a post by fitness by Hagrid and then going to hit the gym. It just never happened. So what did I do? Well, I realized that my two reasons for following 900 accounts weren't really valid reasons. So I decided to start unfollowing people. And it's not that serious. If someone is super offended by you unfollowing them, that's more of an issue with them than it is with you. And a tip for this is to go through your following list more than once because you will find that it makes it easier and easier for you to get rid of noise, which ultimately is the point. Because the less activity you have going on on your social media platforms, the less tempted you will be to check them out. And that's really the point of it all. Now, if it's your aunt and she posts 15 garden photos every single day, but you don't want to follow her because she's your aunt, 
you can always mute her and that way none of her posts or stories will pop up on your feed. In conclusion, here are the steps that I took to overcome my social media addiction. Step 1. Come to terms with your social media habits. Just like with any addiction, honesty is key here. Step 2. Turn your notifications off. Add limited screen time and have your phone on silent as often as possible. Step 3. Dig deeper. Why are you checking your phone and social media so often? Is it out of fear? Anxiety? Do you feel lonely? Once you have an idea of what it might be, take that problem and start working on it. Because if you don't, that same feeling might lead you to worse traps in the future. So I believe it's very important to deal with the root issue. And step four, keep it clean. Get rid of the noise, get rid of the distractions and know that it's not that serious. That's all I had to say for this video. I hope you found it helpful. I do have some final words, more of a reminder. We spend about a third of our lives sleeping and we spend about a third of our lives working. The point is, we don't have that much time over and I sure know that I don't want to look back and remember that I spent even a tenth of my time staring at a screen. Thank you for watching this video. Please like it if you liked it. Please subscribe if you would like to see more and I will see you in my next one. About a year ago, I fought people <laughs> in conclusion <gasps> a baby rabbit oh come here step three the very much <laughs> was it when i was out with my <gasps> oh my god I think someone's coming.